What is up, car addicts? And welcome to Lamborghini Heaven. <laughs> so I went ahead and I organized some of the cars here in the garage. Um, unfortunately, they still haven't fixed the issue where the cars don't save. But I went ahead and just moved them around really quick. Um, we got the Aventador here, the uh, Mercilago SV uh, package that I did to it when we upgraded it. Got the Venino over here with the Italian flag livery going down the middle. I think it looks really nice. Got the uh, Huracan over here looking like a Performante, even though it's a regular one. Just got some upgrades on there. And in this video, we're going to be customizing the uh, Super Leggera 570 4. The dash 4 means it's all wheel drive, so that's nice. Got some great handling out of that. It is in the streetcars class. Very beautiful car. Turn off the lights there. Ooh, there we go. The carbon fiber mirrors from the factory. Carbon fiber side skirts. The super leggero stripe with the Italian flag right on the very top of it. Very nice design from Lamborghini. Rear's carbon fiber as well. Carbon fiber spoiler. The interior here. Super Leggera door sill plate. Whole carbon fiber lightweight door panel. Interior trim. Very, very nice. I love these seats. I think these are the exact same ones from the Revents in, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. Now, they didn't make the front splitter carbon fiber so that it wouldn't be expensive to replace if you scrape it. Although that's changed over the years, they don't really care anymore. <laughs> Now they actually want the owners to pay a ridiculous amount of money for the uh, front splitter. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go ahead and see what options we got here. First we got the manufacturer color, so we got the green, this like reddish orange, the light blue, regular orange, white, the yellow, and the black. So obviously I'm going to be customizing it in the lime green, I like that a lot, I think it looks really good on this car. All right, so let's see what visual parts we got here. So we got some hoods. Let's take the Veneno a little bit. Yeah. Carbon fiber. This one really changes the entire look of the front end. Well, you get you use you lose the lines when you do this one. That sucks. This one doesn't look too bad. Let's do this one. So front bumper. Whoa. That completely changes the headlights. They look they look like the Aventador headlights. But in the uh, Gallardo. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, so you got the paint. You can do a painted uh, stock front bumper. And you can do the carbon. Which looks very nice with the very subtle canards. I like those canards a lot. I think those are very well done. Not a fan of the tow hook, but. Okay. Whoa, that's just very extreme. That's uh, taken to another level. And this is the Venino front bumper. I think I see the pattern here. <laughs> I think I definitely see the pattern here. That's uh, interesting. I'm not sure why you want to make this look like a Veneno. I mean, we have the Veneno in the game already. Okay. I think I'm going to do this one. This one looks really good. I wish the tow hook wasn't there. That's like the one little thing. I don't know why they put that there. Maybe if you paint the car red, you can kind of hide it. <laughs> but I don't know. What, I really don't know why. Like, There's no point in that. Because they already have this one that's more of like a race car bumper. And then... Yeah, I don't know why they did that. I do like the regular headlights a little more than the other ones. So I'm going to do those. Okay. Front fenders. Alright, so some heat extractors there. Nice fender vents. Not sure how I feel about those. A little bit too much for this car. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to put that. Alright, so the factory wheels. So you got those and those. So those are the only two. And then you start getting into the game wheels. Now, in the real car, they did offer these wheels you see right here in black. I don't know why they didn't do that here. 
So what you'd have to do is to kind of like try to find one that's similar to that or kind of find another one that you like to get it to go on here. It's kind of unfortunate because you, you lose the Lamborghini center caps. If you guys want to see all these wheels, I'll put it at the end of the video. But um, I'm going to find the ones here. All right, so these are like the closest ones I found. And I actually like these a little more because they have like the center locking wheel nut, which I think looks really nice. I think we're definitely going to do these. And we're going to paint them black as well. I'm going to change the whole look of the car. Look at that. Instantly. Really different look. And we're going to make them a little larger. I thought they were a little bit too small. So it's one up and one to the left. Okay, it's all the way and then one to the left. There we go. Looking a lot better. Caliper color. Let's make that match. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Might have been a little bit not bright enough. There we go. Side mirrors. Oh, also, you can make them smaller. These are the same ones from the Veneno, I think. That's interesting. Or the Aventador. Yeah, I think it's, these are from the Aventador, if I'm not mistaken. These look really good. I think these look better than the other ones, to be honest. So those. Side skirts. Okay, I like that. Looks good. Kind of matches the uh, vent there in the rear. Very nice. Rear fender. Oh, look at that. It also adds this piece here. Make it more aggressive, like the Aventador. Very cool. And then it adds these vents up here. See, I don't know why they didn't separate the options, because I actually don't like these vents. They look like... It just ruins the back end of it. There's just too much going on back here for you to add that there. That's very unfortunate. I would have liked that vent piece. Oh well. Well, next. Okay, so you get the factory wing painted. Whoa, then you have this larger spoiler here. Carbon. And okay. I do like the stock one because it's either the small one or a giant one. <laughs> like those are the only two options you have, and I do like it completely carbon. I don't really like it colored to match. Not really a fan of that. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna leave the stock one there. Okay, so this one has this carbon bit around the tail lights, which I don't like. Ugh, that looks terrible. This one changes the exhaust and the diffuser painted. Okay. Whoa, that's, those exhaust tips are terrible. The tow hook and the, the, the fuser's too big. Whoa, this is from the race car. Well, this is a modified version of that. It's not identical. That is weird. That's very strange. Not a fan of that. Okay, I'm sure you guys will agree with me here. The, uh, the stock bumper looks a lot better. Let's keep that. We don't got to spend any money either. <laughs> Next up, interior color. So you can actually change the interior. Okay. All right. So just so that I can see if there's any options here, I'm just going to do this really quick. I'm just going to choose this and then make it only white stitching. So we can see if there's anything else. So here's a little trick if you want to make it all leather instead of the Alcantara it comes with. But it seems like you can only do that to the steering wheel because the seats aren't changing. So the seats on this car are forced to be Alcantara. Interesting. Wait a minute, I think the center part... Okay, so the headrest is changing. Oh, okay, so it's only the center of the seat. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's interesting. I'm gonna do the leather. Alright, so you can actually change this. I'm glad we did that. So it comes stock with carbon fiber, tibia trim. Or you can make it all gloss black if you don't like the the uh, carbon fiber. Okay. I do like the white stitching a little better in the gray, so let's keep that. Okay. All right, we're all done. Look at that. Wow. That's a very aggressive Lamborghini Gallardo. That's probably the best looking Lamborghini Gallardo I've ever seen. That is really cool. That looks awesome. All right, let's see what performance options just to show you here that it's 100% stock. 201 mile an hour top speed, 570 horsepower, perf level 200. Alrighty. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take it for a little drive. You guys can hear how it sounds. And then I'm going to take it for two top speed runs. One of them stock, one of them fully maxed out. So alright, let's see how she sounds.
typical V10 Lamborghini. There's a car inside of me. Whoops. All right. Oh, got, a, got a whole cluster over there. I really like it in this green. This is nice. Oh, that front end is really nice for that hood and that splitter. That looks that's a really nice combination. The crackles from the exhaust. Oh my god. Listen to that. <laughs> they did a good job with that. I think it sounds a little too similar to the Huracan, but it's still a good sound nevertheless. Let's see reverse tail lights, most people don't show this. See? Well, reverse brake tail lights, I mean. Alrighty, not too bad. That guy looks like he's lagging. Alright, so again, just to, sh to uh, mention here, this car is 100% stock. We're going to do the top speed run here. And we're going to use a nitrous at the very end like we always do. Alright, here we go. Oh, we got above 200. That's nice. 202. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alrighty, so now let's max it out and see how it does. Alright, so just to show you that it is fully maxed out. See, 280 out of 280 perf level. 226 mile hour top speed, 923 horsepower. We got up to 0 to 63 seconds. Not too bad. I mean, not as fast as the other cars I've done, but it's, it's decent. All right, let's see how it does. Again, I'm going to use a nitrous at the very end. And as well as this run might be a little different for you because of the nitrous perks and the icon points and all that, but you're going to get a very close um, run to what you would get. All right, so here we go. Woo, 236. <laughs> That's insane. Not bad at all. Let's see if this thing can do the, uh, the all-wheel drive donuts like the Huracan can. Let's see. Yep. <laughs> Just... Leaving it at red light is so fun. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed the customization, little review, and the top speed runs of a Lamborghini Gallardo Super Leggera. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.